best way to get remote work at NACA this past year, one of the questions I was like, as I was kind of wandering around the floor, um, one of the questions I asked the, the HR people and the, the training directors and those guys was, uh, what percentage of your business, and the operations, you know, directors and everything, what percentage of your business these days or in the last 12 to 24 months has been remote and what percentage has been field? And uh, with one exception, they all said 50 to 80%, 70% uh, is remote these days. Um, the exception said, well, we didn't really do hardly any uh, remote in 2023, but we have all of our contracts all, with all of our, our carrier partners all want us to do all this remote stuff in 2024. So they just jumped it from not doing it at all to doing a ton of it. Um, so that's good and it's bad. Um, there's pros and cons to it, certainly. They all told me after saying that was that, but we still have field stuff and we're desperate for field adjusters, people that wanna go out in the field. Everybody wants to do remote, right? So the problem that you're gonna have when you try to go after remote work is that the line is very long for remote stuff because people are like, they wanna make six figures, $150,000 a year, whatever it is these days, I don't even know. Inflation and everything has kind of skewed everything up a little bit, but a lot of money and not have to leave the house. Um, who wouldn't want to do that, right? And who can blame them? So you're going to face a lot of a lot of competition for rem any kind of remote work period, right? Which is why I'm telling you, which I con consistently try to tell you guys, if, they, if, they, if you want to do remote and you're able to, and they call you and they say, hey, we got field, go do the field, right? Because you can kind of sort of boomerang your way back into doing remote. You build up a name for with yourself for, for a one season or a se maybe two seasons at the end of the second year. You know, you say, hey, listen, you know, um, my spouse and I are, we're trying to do something different. We want to have a baby or whatever, and we're trying to stay home. Are there any remote opportunities? And they'll be like, oh man, we're really going to miss you in the field, but we don't want to lose you as an adjuster. So yeah, absolutely. You know, let me see if I, let me send you down to so-and-so and, -so and they, they'll get you hooked up with the whatever, blah, 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 blah. Right? And that happens. That's how, that's one way to do, to do that, right? Um, but if you just come in cold off the street and you're like, yeah, I've got my FTD. I went to MoCAD. I went to Voss. I got all these licenses and blah, blah, blah. And they're going to be like, take a number right? Because everybody else is doing that. Um, so it's, it's a lot more challenging unless we get, you know, a lot of hurricanes this year and it puts everybody to work, then you'll be able to, it'll be a lot easier to slide into those things. There is only one company that provides E&O and general liability insurance solely to the insurance industry, and that's Kaplik. They even have drone and cyber coverages. Download the free guide all about the different kinds of insurance that you as the adjuster should carry at cplic.net slash adjuster TV. But that's kind of the long and short of it is with remote work is that there's, it's, they're very popular. Um, they're, that's, if thing, if something is saturated, it's the remote side of things. The field side is still wide open because everybody wants to do remote. Right, so there's a lot more opportunities on the field side, which is a great way to get in, kick that door open, and set yourself up to be valuable, useful, adaptable, likable, right? That they want to work with, no matter what they have you doing, and then that way you can slide into those remote roles a lot easier that way. Just one thing I say, last thing I'll say about the remote work stuff is that some companies aren't going to uh, want to just give you, just like you you apply and say, hey, I want to do remote. They're not just going to call you and say, okay, you're doing remote now, and then start sending the claims. A lot of companies, especially the big ones, are going to want to train you. And it may be that you still have to go to Allen, Texas, and for five-week training for Crawford, right? They have a requirement. If you're going to work remote for them, unless you're like very experienced, there's, they want you to go to, to Allen, Texas for their five-week program and sit in the cubicle. You get, they're going to pay you, um, but They'll teach you how to do the work. You got people sitting next to you. You got a trainer manager, right? So they're going to make sure that you're calibrated to the way they want you to do things. And then they'll send you home. And they may, like State Farm, will they'll send you a laptop and a printer and all this kind of stuff, right? They'll send you the equipment. Because State Farm wants, doesn't want 
just anybody logging into their system with some random computer, right? So they're going to have computers that are already secure and whatever. But, you know, it just depends on the company. Um, but then a lot of companies are going to want to be feel more comfortable about giving you remote work and letting you work from home, right? If they've if they've trained you and they've seen that you they've they've assessed you and made sure that this is the clicks with you and that you're going to do you're actually going to do the work and not just like sit there and draw a paycheck go to those things right the other thing like i talked about companies like pilot have big call centers um that they do on big events um go do that stuff for sure because you could make you know eight or ten thousand bucks in a month sitting in a cubicle and answering the phone and learning and networking and stuff it's it's long days and it's you know I don't know. I'm a business owner, so I kind of work. I don't work 12 hour days necessarily, but I work pretty much every day. And so, but it's, you're working, you're earning it, right? Um, but that's another way to get into it.